Hey, hey, I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home. I'm just expanding some air while I check on my pizza and go over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... Does air really expand? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a five gallon water bottle, a balloon, and your freezer. Today, I am gonna to show you that the air all around us expands. And it's gonna be um, um, way more wicked cool. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> way more wicked cool. <laughs> okay, some people do this by using a two liter pot bottle and a regular toy balloon. But uh, I know that you didn't come here to see me use some puny little pot bottle. <laughs> And this little itty bitty t uh, uh, a balloon. I know that you want to see me use this massively huge five gallon water bottle. You want to get yourself one of these Magnum XL sized balloons. What'd you think I was going to say? <laughs> okay. You're going to take your massively huge five gallon water bottle and you're going to place it in the freezer for 30 minutes. Oh yeah, this takes like a moment or two, you know, blah, 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 it's like way wicked cool, you know, so like, you know, just hang in there. from the air molecules inside the bottle. When you take the bottle out of the freezer and place the balloon over the top of the bottle, this traps most of the cooler air molecules in the bottle. The molecules of air in the room are much warmer than the molecules in the bottle. This means the molecules of air in the room will strike the side of the bottle slightly harder than the molecules inside the bottle and the bottle transfers its energy to the molecules of air inside the bottle. The air inside the bottle begins to vibrate faster and faster and push the other air molecules further away. But these molecules are trapped and have nowhere to go. These trapped molecules strike the balloon with enough energy that the molecules can cause the balloon to expand. Some people say that molecules don't expand inside a closed system, but they most certainly do expand. Although it is true that they don't expand as far apart, but they do cause the closed system to expand just a little. The extra energy that would have expanded something such as the balloon is turned into heat energy, making the closed system a bit warmer. So now you know more about aggrandized thermodynamics. You know, using rising air to cook a rising crust pizza <laughs> is why science is so cool.